everyone, Shaber1000 here. I've been needing to do this for a long time. This is very dangerous, and uh, I'm surprised it hasn't blown up yet. But my air hose got a nice little dog knot there. It's pregnant, and it's starting to crack. So we're going to fix that. But first thing I'm going to do is go discharge my airline so we can do this safely without stuff blowing off and hit me in the face. Stick around, let's fix this. Okay guys, so as you can see, nothing left in our airline. So let's go ahead and take this off. Now this, a lot of people think, now I didn't fix this. This was her dad's. He fixed it. A lot of people think, see there's where this rubber hose hooks onto up in here and it's crimped here. A lot of people think you can't fix it because of that. He might have thought that. I don't know. But, as you can see, look how too much stuff going on here so let's reduce this take all this off and just make it one fit one fitting there uh, one clamp okay so first we're going to do is take all this junk off of here we're only going to need probably one clamp but if I can fit two on there I will because I do have I do have my pressure turned up to like 140 PSI for my air guns and stuff. I will turn it down if I'm using, you know, air tools like, uh, like, you know, spray guns or something like that, spray paint guns. Um, then, of course, you know, you turn it down. Uh, my sandblaster, you know, turn it down. But um, as a rule, it just stays on about 100 and... About 140. There we go. Alright, there's that. And this barb can come out of here too. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and cut this off. Just like that. Okay, see there? I am going to save this barb. Or, it's also called a nipple. Yes, that's right. Never throw that brass away. Oops. it's a nice barb that's all right for like if you're in the middle of your hose or something that's okay for that but when you're getting up this close it's just too much going on up here so I mean that hose probably is about ready to be replaced so what we're going to do is we're going to cut this I usually use side cuts for this. Usually works fine because it's just brass. So, not copper, guys, it's brass. And I peel this away and I get it all the way down to here. Um, you can buy cheap airlines. But I don't like the cheap ones, especially down here in Florida. When they're laying out in the sun while you're doing a brake job or whatever, and they're laying there, they'll swell up and blow up just like your garden hoses. So um, but I'm probably I won't throw this one away. But what I'm gonna do, I've been saying it, I wanna get one of those, it's kinda like a hose reel. You know what I mean? It um, it's a retractable air hose. So.
so I'm going to try to get one of them. Now, I could probably dig my Dremel tool out, and that'll work a lot better through there. But my Dremel tool is in the garage, which is a total mess right now. I have to get that cleaned up. Uh, I mean, I know where it is, but I can't. It's not real easy to get to for this little fix here. So, I can probably use my... I could probably use my grinder and get most of that. Let me go ahead and get my grinder. All right, guys, this is going to be kind of loud, but I'll turn it down for you so it doesn't blow your drums out. This is a pretty good one because it's really, really thick. It's a lot thicker than some of the, well, pretty much all the ones I've ever cut in half. So, a subscriber of mine, he goes by Hobbacker, he's the one that sent me the, uh, the cordless drill, and there you go, you don't need that. And uh, he bought a cool looking vintage style uh, radio, looks like it had a cassette, tape, uh, cassette deck in it. Um, it's Bluetooth as well, and it'll work off of electric or um, D batteries but problem is let me see if I've got enough room for two clamps yeah that'll work the problem is he uh the electric cord will not work on it. So you got a hold of the company and they sent him a new cord. Well, it doesn't work either. It's not the cord. He tried the cord on other devices and it worked. So, um, hang on a second. I got to get something. Okay, I'm back. I went and got some of this stuff. I forgot to get it out. Um, it's adhesive silicone so this is made by Quicksilver just some stuff her dad had um, so anyway so they sent him a new cord of course and well that wasn't a problem so they want him to send that one back before they send him a new one a big hassle and the Bluetooth won't pair you know that just upsets me when companies do that to you. You know, it's like they don't trust you. I don't like that. Now, I'm going to put this on here and not up in here because if you put it up in here and then when you got to put this in, it'll either partially or it can completely clog your fuel or fuel. Yeah, your... Um, your air supply. So I'm just going to put some of that on there. You don't have to do this, but I do when I've got it. So bring this back just to start to work already. Just a little extra precaution, you know, so <clears throat> I'm going to tighten these up. If you notice, I put the clamps two different directions just something I've always done and 
don't have to, but I, I just get that sense that it's better. I don't know if it does. I've never done any. But yeah, companies like that are ridiculous, you know? There, that's all done. That will not come apart. Now I'm going to let the stuff start to set up. Now I'm going to let it set up a few minutes. And then I'll go charge my airline. What I'm going to do, I know it looks bad, guys, when you do this, but I am going to put some tape around here just to keep, you know, fingers and stuff protected. So I am going to put some electrical tape on there. And then I think we're done. Then we'll charge it up and make sure that it doesn't, um, that it doesn't blow off or anything like that. Because I've had these blow up uh, at work. They was buying them cheap hoses, and they would they would just blow up from sitting in the sun. I said, look, guys, you know, you done bought three of these in the past two months. You could have bought one good one, and it, still, it would still work. So, um, the owner's son-in-law, the owner was my boss. So, the owner's son-in-law said, I'll, I'll get you what you need, Marty. What do you want? And I told him he'd come back with it, and uh, I worked it. This was like six months after I started there. I worked there two years exactly. And uh, a year and a half when I had to quit because of my health conditions, it was still fine, still doing good. So if you can, I know you, some, some people can't afford it. Like I can't right now, so I, I got to make this work. Um, but if you can, splurge and get you a good hose. All right, guys. Let me let that set up, and then we'll wrap this up with tape. Okay. I got some black tape over in the boat, but this was just, just happened to be sitting there, so I'm just going to use this green stuff. It's not doing anything to the integrity, so it's not going to help it from blowing off. Just a protectant from, you know, scratching up my hands or whatnot. doesn't look the greatest but neither neither do them two clamps there but I guarantee you it's a lot safer than what we had there I mean yeah it was she was ready to pop well, sometimes monkey comes out with me when I'm doing stuff on the trucks or whatever and I don't want her sitting there and having this thing if you guys ever had an airline explode it's not fun that thing whip around and beat the hell out of 27 things before you get in the shop and discharge it you know unplug it for those of you guys that don't know but I think most of you do and then we'll bring it back here just a little bit to try to keep it from hopping out there again. <sighs> there, and it's fixed, and that's fine. That's better than those repair kits you get, guys, um, that have similar things to this, because if you don't have the right crimper, it's not gonna work right for you, you know? You can't get a, a good crimp on it, and they'll pop off. And a lot of those crimpers are like 30 bucks just for the crimper. And you're going to use it only to fix these. So if, you know, it, it just doesn't pay to buy that sometimes when you can get those clamps for, you know, a buck or two. You know what I mean? And you probably got some of this stuff laying around. So there. Now, I'm going to go over. It's right here. I'm going to charge it up. And there it is. My airline is charged. And it's not going to pop off of there. Alright guys, so just a, kind of a quick upload for you. Dennis, sorry you're having problems like that, but yeah, I'd be talking to him a little more. Because, uh, you know, you pay good money for something and, and you get it. And it only does half of what it's supposed to do. Yeah. That makes me upset too. And it makes me upset for someone I know. You know to uh, have to be going through that. How's this going on here? I don't like that you know when that happens. How? 
there we go <laughs> all right now this folds up in I do believe this is the first time I've ever used it and had I've had this thing oh geez what four years now mate close to five four and a half years monkey bought this for my birthday one time it came with another knife it's craftsman so <clears throat> yeah it's the first time I used it nice little knife okay guys so there you go Shea Bear the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now, guys. Appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Man, it's hot out here. It's like 90 degrees. It's supposed to rain all weekend. It rained and stormed all afternoon yesterday. Couldn't get anything done. I'm kind of afraid to tear into something because it is gloomy out here. And, you know, I don't want get, to get in the middle of something and have it start pouring down rain. So, all right, guys. Again, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys, and stay safe. Take care of yourselves.